All right, let's talk about vulnerability, okay? These people take great pleasure in putting their dick somewhere it doesn't belong. Take that devil dick, so to speak. The sad eyes of the vulnerable individuals that they trick into bed. It is inhuman to allow this to continue. The corporate elite has a, a grand plan, and part of it is image. They have been uh, um, working on this for generations. Philosophies call, philosophers call this process Luciferian energy that they're generating for uh, generations and, and all the dead bodies. Their pyramid is a pyramid of dead bodies with a bunch of sickos standing on top, you know, claiming to be equal. And then there's guys, you know, then there's the hidden hand. Then there's like a, a blank spot. And then there's a hidden group of people who are playing God, uh, who are benefiting the most out of this. So survivors can be seen as complete cowards standing on... Uh, the piles and piles of righteous men that died for principles that they have abandoned to favor the hidden puppet master scum who are leading them forward, you know, or backwards, really. Uh, and, and there is no coming back from that, no matter what they do after I'm gone. No, no way, no how should they be able to transform. Think about it. I'm the one who can transform them and convey the energy. None of them are qualified. To go in the right direction, you can't just go in the scientifically. And, and under some kind of fake morality or to be more moral than you otherwise were, you have to do it spiritually. It was spirituality that allowed man to stand up, not science alone. And every martial arts system and every, every system of breeding and reproduction should consider that and they all fail after I die. So they prey on the vulnerable, attractive, especially naturally attractive with this kind of grace-filled look, having individuals. And this, when you follow that train of thought to its finish, it leads to preying on the young and innocent. You know, they follow, they, they break down the components of what turns them on about sex. You know, and, and you see this in psychology and magazines and so on, articles and periodicals and so on. You know, uh, publications. We see that they say, "Hey, this aspect of it that that this person likes is preying on innocent people that can't defend themselves." You know, it's like the old, uh, it's like a, a monster that has captured somebody and says, now you have nowhere to go, okay? And they have a sick look in their eyes, like, ha ha, you know, the devil laughing, you know, the beast laughing as some cute little animal is, is caught, okay? So RNA genes refine, uh, uh, refine expression over time. If you're moving in the right direction, it refines it in the right way. The innocent and, and young, remember this is the male, the male RNA, the, the male genes are expressed through the RNA. So the, the man who refuses to man up is breeding with the bitches who said only if you refuse to man up uh, can you plant your seed. You know, that's why they say so there, so there. It means go so in heaven, you know, that this is hell. And yes, that's how, that's not just a saying with uh, disgusting uh, implications. This is how people live their lives. Uh, the innocent and young are preferred targets of the advanced in an evil kind of corporate elitist manner uh, type of bitches. Okay. There's a race between a hero bloodline that is derived from a patriarchal black African martial arts pure sun masculine spirit temple and the bloodlines of the greatest embodiment of a survivor in the concrete jungle. Rich, cunning, a con person, great deceiver, rapist, and yet, it, yes, it is a gender neutral idea, you know. Um, of course, when you see the reproductive cycle, we see unattractive women trying to prey on men like me and, and when they're down and, and out, you know, and they get unfocused, they start drinking and smoking marijuana, etc., taking substances to make themselves feel better, mental health, uh, forcing substances on them, and then some whack-ass bitches come along and try to prey on them. So yes, that's a form of rape as well. It is a rape culture and women are absolutely complicit whenever you see great men settling, you know, in a miserable, unfocused state. Yes, women are complicit with the rape culture. Okay. Nurse, ease, run. Norse, right? Ease, ruin. Okay, I'm sure you can figure out what, how that's connected. What, what, what ideas do we get the ideal nurse from? She's kind of this Nordic kind of look uh, uh, with certain uh, African features, like a, a, an African kind of woman shapes body with, a, with white skin, with a Nordic look and so on. Okay. I'll leave it there.